Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Excalibur Extended Roundtable Tech Talk. Uh, I'm joined today by Tom Petley from Halo ITSM. Tom, thanks for joining me today. Hi, Mike. Thanks for having me. It's always fun to get together and talk about Halo and the exciting things that you guys are doing there at Halo. But a, a lot of folks out there have asked, you know, hey, can you take us through some specific use case, some of our departments that are maybe not necessarily within IT that want to leverage our platform. It's known as enterprise service management. Everybody seems to do it, um, and some do it better than others. And you guys have some exciting things that you've done uh, that provide content uh, within the system for customers to start with uh, for many different departments outside of IT, one of them being facilities and facilities management. So Tom, let's talk a little bit about what you guys have done um, to help folks get started in getting their facilities into their Halo platform. Yeah, absolutely. Let me share my screen now and I can kind of show you some of, some of the out-of-the-box facilities workflows that we've got. So I thought I'd just start here, which is... Um, we call our organizational charts and it, it's not going to look like the customer's organizational chart it's not designed to do that really it's it's more of a visual representation of the different areas of the service areas in halo and the kind of the siloed um, data sets and the, uh, the data areas within the system so you'll see here that it we've got it over here and this is what we call the department layer then beneath there we have our team layer so you can have all your different teams within there and each of these layers can be completely siloed. So IT wouldn't even have to have any visibility of facilities or HR in this case, and vice versa, HR wouldn't have to see IT. So it can literally be their own systems, um, but it is all kind of centrally managed. And if you wanted to, you can pass stuff between each other. And also kind of something like an onboarding request or something like that. So you may have different tasks that need to go to different departments. So you've got the benefits of having it all in one tool, but also the, the benefits of having completely siloed data as well. And how this kind of represents within the, within the system is that we can have these different um, we call them ticketing areas or service areas within the tool. So we've got all our IT stuff here. But we've also got all the facilities area here. So if we were to go into facilities, we'd have all our facilities teams down the side here and all our tickets within here. And as I said before, it's if you wanted to, the, based on the role of the person, someone in facilities wouldn't ever have to see this IT area or they wouldn't have to ever see any of these areas if you didn't want them to. So that's one side, and that's from the, the agent perspective. And then the other side is the, the self-service, which is really important as well. So you can have a single kind of unified portal for, for all the, the different departments, um, but you can then have your separate service catalogs within there. So if I was to go in to raise a request, I could go and do an IT request, an HR request, or a facilities request. Then I can kind of categorize them, group my services up. If I just go for a breakdown, and maybe we'll go for a plumbing, um, facilities ticket here. So if I just raise that, we can have our own custom forms that sit behind this. And yeah, and basically um, facilities can have their completely control of all their um, all their configuration, all their um, their services and their forms and their teams and all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna take a screenshot as well because it's really important for facilities that you can have the the ability to kind of embed images and attach photos and stuff like that because when you are out and about um, often that's the best way of doing it it's just capturing a photo it's also worth adding that we've got mobile apps so you can do it on um, the app as well uh, so it doesn't just have to be kind of using um, the browser you can actually do it as you're out and about uh, on the app take photos and release jobs and tickets and things like that we've also got a Another area that's used by facilities is the asset management area as well. So whereas we kind of normally talk about assets in IT being kind of your laptops, your, um, your, your cell phones, mobile phones, um, but it could be in facilities that you're talking about water fountains or um, could even be tractors or <laughs> whatever it might be, um, minibuses or another one. Um, there's lots of um, different kind of areas where kind of can be utilized by different departments. And you'll see that's just dropped in here just the same process as it would be of IT. How's that look, Mike? Yeah, it looks very, very cool. Because I mean, the underlying service request process is the same. We just have different things that we're trying to do with it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. It may be that a lot of the things that play my own approval processes, like I've got on this one, um, it might be that you want to um, automatically assign uh, based on certain criteria. It's all the same stuff that IT do, but 
um, yeah, it's just basically using it in a different context. So, you know, we've got facilities, we have HR, we've got many other areas uh, that are provided um, to customers as an all-in-one license um, out of the box. And as new things are being innovated, um, you know, those are also available to them. So it, it, I think it's exciting and it's important for customers to understand, um, you know, you, you're, you're getting everything that you need. Now, maybe you don't need facilities. You can turn it off. You don't have to, you don't have to use it, but it's there and available for you when you do decide you want to try to bring some of these things together. We've seen that a lot over these last few years um, as people are, it is funny because the you know, the epiphany shouldn't be hard. Almost every department does request management. Yep. <laughs> Who's requesting it? Is there yeah. a deadline? Uh, and what is it that they're requesting? And some additional details. And then who's responsible who's for making sure that request gets fulfilled? Um, and then yep. you know, is it done? It's right. The same, it, 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 it's the same same steps. Same fundamentals that. ITSS, ITSM systems are built on is um, assignment and prioritization, really, um, and then the ability to report off the back of it. Um, it's the same things. There's lots of bells and whistles that have grown up um, within kind of ITSM tools and things like that, which kind of complement it and make things easier. But um, everyone's trying to do those same fundamentals. Um, so, yeah, it works really well. Yeah, it's, I mean, it, 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 and it's so, it, it, it's funny. Uh, but, you know, with the, the thing that I love about the way your portal is designed is for the customer and that customer experience, mm -hmm. they don't have to understand that they're separate. No. They can come in and say, you know, even start searching plumbing issue and it's going to direct exactly. them where they need to go to raise their issue. Um, it, it's made to be intuitive and simple. Uh, because we want that 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 high level customer experience, yeah. and then for the for the folks that are fulfilling that, as you noted and in, 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 in kind of showed in our little brief demo, is we have the ability to separate those things, so it's not one big bucket. Not everything's coming into the service request <laughs> module, and it's chopped up from there. No, these are yeah. separate and can be completely siloed. Uh, uh, and or things can be exchanged where they may come in because one of the things we you know we'll talk about HR in another episode mm -hmm. um, you know sometimes there's some crossover um, yeah. uh, where you know, IT gets HR calls and HR it may really be an IT issue but they're calling HR about it and, <laughs> yeah. and, and similar things happen now for facilities um, where we have automatic door readers and um, all of these sort of things they're not, the customer may not be sure who to call and our ability uh, to be yeah. able to direct them can be very, mm -hmm. very helpful. I always like talking about things like projectors and things like that. Um, is that an IT issue or is it actually the power's not working to it and it's a facilities issue? It's. Um, well, well, or, or you think about just doing a projector request. We want to have a projector set up in a room that doesn't have yeah. one. Some organizations, IT handles that. Some yeah. organizations, facilities handle it. Yeah. Some organizations have a whole other group <laughs> that does yeah. that. Um, yeah. And, and, and you know th those are the things that uh, with the power and flexibility we have with Halo, um, we can deliver the solution that's needed um, to the customer and for their customers. Absolutely. Well, Tom, as always, it's a joy getting together and chatting about some of the uh, exciting things that are, that are that are Halo ITSM uh, to our our folks that are watching out there. Reach out to the team at Excalibur. We'd love to get you a demo of Halo, show you what we can do to bring the power of Halo to your organization. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you soon.